Auzubillahiminashaitwanirrajim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Today we are going to talk about income statement or we call it statement of profit and loss and other comprehensive income. Now in this statement we report revenues. Revenue means sales we made if we are selling the goods or revenue if we are rendering some services so we are recording there the services, the fee we charged. Then we have the sale of goods and services. Now all these, all these things are again standards for each and every item. For example revenue, we have a standard how the revenue should be recognized, when it should be recorded, when should it be reported into the income statement. Similarly cost of goods sold and the services rendered cost, again we have standards for all these things. Now cost of sale is cost of goods sold, rendering the, and services. Then the difference of the two, revenue minus the cost of goods sold, we got the gross profit. Now try, uh, try to understand here one thing, in a trading business and in a manufacturing business, trading business we have buying and selling goods. But in a manufacturing business, we, pre, uh, we buy the raw material, we process that raw material into finished goods and then we sell it. So when we are coming out to the cost of goods sold statement, it's different in case of a trading concern and in case of a manufacturing concern. So for trading concern is, 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 is there simply opening stock plus purchases minus closing stock that gives you the cost of goods sold. But in case of manufacturing company, first of all you need to prepare the cost of goods manufactured and then you adjust that cost of goods manufactured with the opening finished goods, closing finished goods and find out the cost. And I am sure you have already uh, discussed this thing in your previous courses as well. Now the difference is gross profit, sales minus the cost of sales. Then other comprehensive income, it's not basically regular income. It is somehow uh, unusual type of income that you will come across. For example, you are uh, selling one of your equipment because it is outdated now. So whatever money you are getting, so compare with the carrying value of that and the money you are getting, if there, is, if there is a gain, so that will be other income. Now another important thing is investment income. You make some investments, if it is, let's say in a certain company, like you, you have a subsidiary or you have an associate, so that income will be supported separately. But this income is not regular one. Sometimes it is there, sometimes it is not there. So if it is there, then you have to report it. The other important thing here is that this income statement, if other comprehensive income, we can work in one go or we can have two statements. Any profit and loss statement separate and other comprehensive statement separate. So the thing is, the ultimate both should be taken to the income statement. Now, so far gross profit is concerned, it must be sufficient to cover the operating expenses, finance expenses and taxes. Now, operating expenses broadly, administrative expenses. All administrative expenses, staff salaries, all other regular utilities, etc. So all those expenses should be the operating expense. Uh, operating expenses, or rather we club them into administrative expense. Now so far marketing expenses are concerned, so we call it selling and distribution expense. So whatever we spend on marketing, that will be clubbed together in the selling and distribution expense. Now after that we got operating profit. Now gross profit minus operating expenses which include depreciation and amortization. Now look here, the depreciation and amortization is not basically a cash expense. Depreciation is an asset you bought, you are using it, so the cost of that assets we are appropriating over a number of years so that we can also charge it to the profit and loss account. Amortization is also a similar thing, like goodwill, you have, you have bought a business and you paid goodwill, so what you do? you amortize that goodwill over a number of period. Net profit is the bottom line of the income statement and to improve 
profit increase profitable sales lower production cost cut operating expenses but do remember here we are not supposed to cut short things here we have to look forward we have to look on a long term basis sometime you know what we do in pakistan that we try to cut cut cost it is not in actually helping out to improve profit cutting cost is another thing you have to save cost how if it not effects on your productivity only then it will be allow that you can save uh, you can save your cost you cut your cost so that you can improve your profit now see the format of statement of comprehensive income sale look i said rupees in millions and two years 20 and 19 cost of sales you got gross profit you get selling expense you got administrative expense reducing we got operating profit then we have the finance cost this is also very important sometimes we call it interest cost but do remember interest is one item of finance cost there are some bank charges etc so those are clubbed together into finance cost then we have taxation also now here the question is how the tax will be recorded in the income statement because tax will be calculated by the tax department that this much tax you owe us so here what we do normally we just estimate that if we are earning that much profit so this much is going to be the tax like like for example 30% so whatever profit you get after the uh, before tax take 30% of that sometime we ask the our experts that uh, this is our business you tell us how much is going to be our taxable income because a lot of things have been added to the profit deducted from profit and they come up a new figure of tax a uh, taxable profit so but for the time being we are not talking about taxation here so we just take it as an estimated figure now in this taxation thing again there are some income tax and there is some deferred tax now what is deferred tax basically that government allowed us that you can charge depreciation at this rate and we are charging in a different rate so if there is timing difference so with this as you can work out the deferred tax so taxation include both. let me tell you here one thing important that the sale tax we pay or we charge that is not here that will be adjusted somewhere in sales business in purchase business not in this particular place the so profit after tax and then co- other comprehensive income now they said you can put it here or you can prepare an other statement or other comprehensive income and ultimately it comes to here from the total of that statement we report it here so we got the retained profit for the year why i call it retained because it is not yet distributed now if we, if you are going to distribute it then you go further and report it somewhere else now what we do in, in fact in this statements particular income statement the matching principle match the sales with the associated cost to determine profit in a given period income statement tries to measure whether the products and services that a company produce are profitable when everything is added up on the le- leftover is the profit profit will be the profit will be turned into cash in fact we are talking here quality of income now quality of income is basically if your profit is supported by the cash flow only then we can say you are really making a profit because in profit and loss we make adjustments here and there so if it is not being supported by the cash generation then i think it's something wrong there income statement top line is sales and you know we call it top line is sales and the bottom line is profit top line is sales revenue cost and expenses taxes and bottom line is profit notes are likely like windows into how these numbers were determined as i said earlier the important thing is how these number comes so there should be supporting notes to it for example there is a figure of sales or rather revenue so how that revenue is earned means what are the details of it what method you have used it to recognize the revenue so 
So that will also be given in notes to the accounts. Now then we have the statement of financial position. Now again format is not prescribed by the IES one. Normal format which we are nowadays following in Pakistan, we start with the non-current assets and we call them property, plant and equipment, premises, office equipment, motor vehicles and many other assets which are being used to produce goods and services. They are not for sale. They are long-term assets. Goodwill is only when you are buying a business and you are paying for it extra than the value of that business. The business is let's say worth about 10,000 10, rupees and if you are paying 12,000 rupees so 2,000 is your uh, goodwill. Now research and development. That is another important issue. Again, as I said earlier, each word here we are reporting, there is a standard. It's not that if we just put in here. No, there is a standard behind it and we follow that standard before we putting this here. Research and development. You know, when you find some new technologies, new research you conduct, all research expenses are supposed to be charged to the profit and loss account. But when, though, on the basis of those research, you start developing the project, you start developing the product, that is a development cost and on that case that will be uh, taken into asset accounts. Then we have current assets, normally store and spare, stock in trade and again stock in trade will be, if it is a trading business, simple we call it stock in trade, but if it is a manufacturing business, then it will be a raw material stock, it will be a working process stock, it may be a finished goods stocks. Then if there is any printing station is stock available, prepaid insurance if you paid something in advance to so that also, then bank account, then total current assets. Current liabilities, the amount which we owe to pay within next one year, that are current liabilities, creditors, current portion of long term debts, interest payable, bonus payable, audit fees payable, taxes payable, dividend outstanding payable and so on, these are things to be reported. Long term loans, 5% preference shares. Now this is, this is one thing which is uh, now total and then the shareholders equity. Shareholders equity is straight away ordinary shares, share premium, general reserve, retained earnings, shareholders equity and total equity. And then the explanation of these assets. Assets are different, again details are there that uh, cash, account receivable, inventory, property, etc. And then we have current liability, accrued expenses, long term liabilities, loan, deferred tax and so on. So these are the basics you have already studied in your previous courses also. Thank you very much.